In today's video, we're going to be breaking down strong, close, and how you guys can stop it. This is going to be a multi-part series, and in part one, we're going to be talking about destroying halfback dive and the stretch out of big nickel over G. So hit that sub button. It's free, and it's going to help you guys on defense as well as a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming to this channel soon. So we're going to be in strong, close. This is Las Vegas Raiders playbook. We're going to go ahead and start off with a simple HB dive. Now, big nickel over G, you need to be running it with the slot CB package. It makes your adjustments normal. And the blitz that we're going to be using is corner blitz three. Now, we want to make sure that the guy, the corner that is blitzing is on the strong side. So you can generally get a feel for what they're going to do. Most people will run the strong to the wide side. And since it's already stock, we're just going to go ahead and flip it. If you need to flip it when you choose to play, Go ahead and do so that should be the very first thing that you do is always make sure the blitzing corner is on the strong side of the offense so from here we're going to go ahead and set the rest of this up it's show blitz pinch d line take your user blitz your user and you're going to stand right about here is just barely on the inside of that defensive tackle you can pretty much barely see his right his left foot and so that's where you want to stand. And what you're going to do is you're going to come shoot straight down through this left side A gap. So again, you're going to stand right about here and against dive, come crashing straight down to get him in the backfield. Now, because it's James Conner, if we don't have an enforcer or a lumberjack, we're not going to really be able to hit sick him all too well. But again, it's show blitz, pinch D line, blitzer user. And you're going to stand to where you can barely see that guy's foot. You're going to stand right about there and then just come shooting straight down and hit stick him if you have enforcer obviously you're gonna hit stick him guaranteed if you don't a conservative tackle is generally a pretty safe one to make now i know outside zone or stretch can be a little weird because generally what people will have you do is stand right here right and just come shooting straight down that's generally how you stop stretch out of a big nickel over g the problem with this particular defense that we're using when we show blitz is if you're standing right here and they run a dive, this fullback, this guy right here, is going to pick you up and block you instead. So we really cannot stand there if we're preparing for a dive as well as a stretch. So we want to be a little bit offset, again, about three, four yards behind this defensive tackle. And same thing like a dive. You're going to just come shooting straight down through the A-gap and get the running back in the backfield. It's really important that you do have a fast user as well. Adrian Amos, I believe he has 92 speed. Darnell Savage has 93 speed. So you could use either one of these just as well and get away with it. But if you have somebody with 85 speed, well, good luck trying to get into the backfield unless you stand basically right there and then get destroyed by halfback dives. So... Again, a little offset, and you're going to go ahead and snap the ball, and you're going to come shooting straight down. to. Okay, that time we didn't do too well, but you saw there's a gap for us to shoot. We'll do that one more time, show you guys it, it, it works if you got a better user than what I was doing right there. So again, stand a little bit offset. We're going to go ahead and audible to outside zone and just come shooting straight down. You can see, bang, finally getting him in the backfield. You'll also find that if you have a slower user that you'll generally get picked up a little more consistently as well. So there's two reasons you want speed. One, you get to the spot faster. Two, you're less likely to get blocked by one of these O-linemen because they're slow and they can't get to their blocks fast enough. So show blitz, pinch D-line, and just hover a little bit offset and then just come shooting straight down for a dive. Bang, it's right there. If we have Enforcer, we're getting him in the backfield. If they run an outside zone or a stretch, it's the same thing, just a different name. We're going to go ahead and stand here, and then we're just going to come shooting straight down. You can see right there, again, getting him in the backfield. If you get picked up, you usually don't have to worry about that too much because you can drop this guy and blitz him when he shows blitz as well. So you've got two people coming off the edge. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for the run. I don't remember what it was. It's a dive. You can see right there, getting him in the backfield for a loss of three yards. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, this is going to be a multi-part series. So be sure you hit that sub button. It's free. It helps me grow as a channel and it helps you get better at defense. 
as this is the number one focus of this channel this year is defense, defense, defense. So subscribe if you guys are new. Drop a like for the next part. And until next time, guys, we will see you in the next part of Strong Close Defense, Big Nick Clover.